to our lesson number six. And the topic uh, of this lesson is dynamics. Uh, within this lesson, uh, I will cover the most uh, popular dynamics that been used in a, in a beginner's course uh, of, for piano and violin mostly, and actually for, for the rest of instruments as well, just to give you an idea how to, uh, how to recognize the as, as symbols and what they account for. So you will, uh, you will add some colors to your, uh, to your performance. So we will start with two uh, basic symbols and uh, those are forte and piano. Forte and piano. Uh, two terms uh, that uh, that came to us from uh, Italian language. Uh, all our terms uh, that you see in music sheets, um, uh, starting from dynamics, a speed, uh, some um, some extra marks explaining how to read the music sheet. All of them are written in Italian language, so we're using Italian terminology. So forte. Forte and piano. Forte and piano. Those are two um, two terms. Uh, and forte means open loud. Open. Open loud. And piano means uh, soft and quiet. Uh, on top of that, I prefer, um, you know, to think of them as um, not just about dynamics, but also the kind of mood you want to give to your piece. So for the, it's very open, it's very kind of like uh, showing off, it's a very bright, uh, bright symbol. Uh, and uh, piano is very soft, it's quiet, it's kind of like velvety, it makes this um, uh, kind of cozy sound or very soft touch. So this is type uh, of uh, dynamics those two terms are representing. Um, so in music sheet, they not been written as as, um, as full names. Um, they've been written as just only capital letters. Uh, so forte is a uh, capital F and P as a uh, piano. Um, also, what you can see, what you can meet uh, is double forte, and that is fortissimo. Uh, you can see also uh, triple forte. Yeah, so it's um, the same way you can see uh, pianissimo, double piano or triple piano. The meaning of those uh, two other symbols are similar to forte and piano. However, the extent of, uh, of um, being open and loud uh, and uh, uh, being soft and quiet is increasing. So, for example, forte is just uh, normal, open and um, uh, uh, kind of free voice. Uh, fortissimo is really powerful voice and obviously when you have three fortes it's, it's super powerful so it's kind of you need to make sure that when you play in triple fortes that this is your the highest uh, the highest extent of being loud so this is uh, those are the, the gradations and a pianissimo um, uh, the same thing uh, um, the same thing is here so uh, pianissimo it is a little bit more soft and quiet than piano and a uh, triple piano is is the most uh, the softest possible um, uh, uh, dynamics that you can get also we have uh, sometimes composers are writing four pianos and uh, four fortes but it's also they want to demonstrate that it should be so explosively loud that it, it is four fortes or it should be so tiny and it should be so um, uh, kind of um, a crafty work and crafty sound that it is um, for pianos. Okay, another two terms uh, that are um, uh, very um, often used in music sheet for beginners are um, mezzo forte, mezzo forte, and mezzo piano. And mezzo piano. So mezzo forte, it means um, kind of. Uh, half forte 
and mezzo piano means half piano so a uh, mezzo forte means a little bit uh, half not a little bit half uh, half forte uh, half uh, softer than than forte and mezzo piano means a uh, half uh, louder than uh, than piano so if you will think in terms of this is being forte and this is being piano so if i see mezzo mezzo forte it will be somewhere here it will be somewhere in the middle and if i see mezzo piano it's kind of also will be here but there's still a gradation between those two terms so mezzo forte it will be definitely more loud than than mezzo piano so uh, basically mezzo forte it's a little bit uh, softer than forte and mezzo piano is a little bit more loud than piano so if i will try to sing for example uh, twinkle twinkle little star the easy example that comes first in my head uh, uh, i will try to think now in terms of uh, piano mezzo piano mezzo forte and forte because this is kind of the order that will give you this wavy dynamic so i will uh, sing in uh, piano uh, mezzo piano mezzo forte and forte so this is the order i will be singing right now so it's kind of will be increasing slowly gradually so twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the sky so high like a diamond in the sky so gradually if you place them in this order you will increase the dynamics you will increase the volume of your voice gradually okay this is about a uh, mezzo forte and mezzo piano and two other types of dynamic that i wanted to introduce within this uh, this lesson is um crescendo and diminuendo crescendo and uh, diminuendo uh, uh, those are two um two little uh, uh kind of like um arrows that is uh, that are opening or closing uh, in your music sheet uh, what i mean so crescendo looks like this and diminuendo looks like this so uh, crescendo Crescendo is it uh, should be written like this and diminuendo You should write like this so our crescendo and diminuendo those are two terms that are helping us to do change between forte and piano gradually so uh, if for example if uh, if i can place mezzo piano and mezzo forte um as a separate uh, separate dynamics for example if i i'm just starting uh, I, i'm at the beginning of my piece so and i and i don't want it to be too uh, too quiet quiet i want it to be a little bit more loud uh, than than quiet so then i will place mezzo piano and if i want to uh, if I want it to be a little bit not as open as forte, not as loud as forte, but a little bit softer, I will write method, method forte. But in, in case with crescendo e mediendo, what's the, what's the difference? Is that you cannot write uh, straight away at the beginning of the piece, you cannot write crescendo. Crescendo for what? So basically you need to have this first, uh, first specification of dynamic and uh, that will be your starting point. So crescendo is uh, and diminuendo they are linked to main dynamics so for example they can crescendo can be linked uh, to piano so we can we can start from piano and after we will have a uh, crescendo and uh, the sound will grow to mezzo piano or sound will grow to um to mezzo forte or it can actually grow to forte so you need to have uh, your starting point at the same time you can also um you can also be at the point of mezzo forte and you can write your crescendo towards forte so basically it, you need to have your starting point and that will be your place 
to to start uh, increasing uh, your sound and the same diminuendo you cannot have uh, you cannot write diminuendo uh, at the beginning of the piece because you need to have starting points so you need to have for example uh, uh, you need to have a forte and after you can write uh, you can write diminuendo towards uh, mezzo piano yeah or you can you can have mezzo piano and you can start uh, you can write diminuendo towards two piano so basically you need to have some starting point this is the difference between mezzo forte and mezzo piano and crescendo and diminuendo so um yeah by the way how do you spell mezzo and you can spell it like this mezzo but you never actually write uh, write the whole word you always write just only uh, first uh, capital letter so if i will if i will uh, think um, about uh, the gradual change of my dynamic i can write for example piano crescendo towards uh, mezzo forte crescendo towards uh, forte and diminuendo towards mezzo piano so then it will look like a gradual shift uh, of dynamics so for example twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are about the sky so high like a diamond in the sky so it will sound like this so a uh, gradual increase of your sound of your dynamics and after so, uh, gradual uh, kind of um, uh, dying out of your dynamics so those were the main terms um, uh, that i wanted to introduce you within this lesson I hope that uh, it wasn't that difficult for you and in case you have any questions just don't hesitate to write me I'm always there to help you thank you for watching